some what do you think about ISIS? ISIS? Yeah. It's a controversial topic. All right. Do you know what ISIS is? <sighs> Go on, give me your. No, I'm asking. Do you know what ISIS is? Do you know what, right? How uh, can this baby not sound ignorant? Yeah and no. Yeah, man. So, another question. What do you think of ISIS? What? ISIS. Who's ISIS? Let's watch the news. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Not really. ISIS. It's on. Don't even. It's not even the simic. I'm not similar. I know Graham. Fuck knows. There's a word for it, but it's not that. So, what is ISIS? Islamic State. That's the name, actually. What, what do you Islamic think that State. is? Islamic State? Yeah. Radicalist. Yeah, radicalist. I'm a radicalist. I'm an activist, you get me? I'm not. For I'm what though? Activist. What do you stand for? Do you stand for the same thing they stand for? Nah, I'm a rebel without a cause, to be honest. You know? <laughs> I'm, out here, I'm, out here just, I'm out here just making noise for any reason I can at the moment. So, can you tell me what you think about ISIS? You're gonna go like my man from Salford, the, the taxi driver dude. Right, like, you're gonna cut his head off. Safe. My man's a taxi driver in Salford. The government didn't care. Austin would have paid ransom. Oh no, I'm right, bro. Right. I'm right. I'm right. I'm not even saying I don't know. I'm right. You can go out here. Right, you gotta get mad. You gotta piss off the government in like you gotta piss off the English government. Why don't you do something like blow up all the job centres or? Yep, man. Or do some hardcore shit. Why do? Why are you gonna go and take a taxi driver who's putting in some work helping your people, not even the wrong people? Power, not even the wrong people. They're coming to your country helping your people, and you're gonna get them and get at them. Makes no sense. The government are sat there thinking these guys have got no sense, no time. Can you tell me what you think about Ebola? Ebola. I think it's been hidden for a while, and to be honest, I think it is through. I don't think it's just a virus that's come come about. I think it is man-made and I don't think, I think it's just been, since it's come to England or wherever it's come to, it's just gone, now they want to worry about it and now they want to make a big deal of it when it has been around for years already. What do you think about Ebola? <laughs> now the coincidence with that is, everyone, like this whole Ebola thing, I was reading the other day, everyone that decided to go and get a shot, vaccining them against Ebola, ended up getting Ebola. Well, <laughs> that makes no sense in my role. I know that they've done it, definitely. I know that they have for it to, whether it actually spread in the way that they're saying, from mm -hmm. people being on holiday or whatever, or mm -hmm. it being in food, like here with like, in Tesco's now or something, isn't it? Like mm -hmm. in Tesco's food, is it after food or something? Yes, Tesco. In Tesco food now, apparently, right? Like, what, Ebola? Mm -hmm. Yeah. He, he said that Facebook can't really rely on Facebook mm -hmm. sources. No, like, I, I wasn't sure if it was like a verified page, like Evening News or like mm -hmm. Metro or Guardian, like anything like that. Like, so I didn't see it, but for it to even get here like that, that fast, to be in Spain and all these places, they've either put it in that, they've either gone to Spain and they've done it themselves and infected the people or put something there for them to be able to catch or I don't have a clue but it's definitely um, isn't it? You get a drink, try a drink. Like obviously they're doing what they're doing because there's no other way for them to do it. They're not getting an opportunity to do nothing. Especially if you've been in prison once, there's no way you're getting a job now. It's hard enough for people with degrees to be getting jobs, never mind if you just come out of prison. Like, there's nothing, do you know what I mean? I've got a, a friend who is in, who's been in prison, comes out, can't get for cause. So what are you going to go back to doing? You're going to go back to doing what you was doing in the first place because that's getting you money, that's giving you stability, that's giving you your house, that's giving you food. Nothing else is doing that. No one's helping them because they see them as a lost cause and not a lost cause. Everyone's got a talent, what they, what they can do, do you know what I mean? But people just forget about them because they're bad people. They're bad to society. No, they're not. If you give them a chance, anyone's got good in them. They've just not been given the chance, so obviously they're gonna try and make a way to make money, try and make a way to do something else. May not be illegal, but at least they're doing something, do you know what I mean? That's just what I think of. <laughs> May not be, you know, politically correct, but 
that is what I think and to be fair that's what a lot of people would think but people of higher societies they don't listen to that. Tell that, tell that old granny to get out of the house, get into a little flat, because you're going to die in about a week anyway. I've read news, news, I've done a lot of stuff with news, like the tour visuals, uh, for the last album. For the last time, want to know why I left Jamaica?